What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you some more of my most recent comic sales. The sales for my comic books and sales in general for my reselling business have been flooding in and I'm glad I get the chance to share this on the channel with you guys because it's definitely not easy to be a reseller, but definitely worth it because I've made a lot of profit this past year. One thing for my comic books that's definitely been taking off is my mystery boxes. A lot of people, like some people when they hear mystery boxes, they hate them. Nobody that's bought from me has been disappointed. I've had nothing but positive reviews because I put a lot of quality and a lot of time and thoughts into my mystery boxes. And if somebody only likes collecting, for example, Spider-Man or Batman, I can do a box just of that. Or if they tell me what they're interested in, I can make a box curated just for them. So up first with the first sale is actually a mystery box that is 30 comics for $50. Now a promotion I've been running this past month has been if you purchase a 25 comic box from me, I'll toss in an extra five comics. That's a total of 30 comics you will get. If you buy a 50 box, a 50 comic box from me, I'll toss in an extra 10 comics. So you're actually getting 60 comics. So that's been getting a lot more sales because of that promotion. So this one here, 30 comics for $50 was a great sale. Next up is New Warrior Comics. This is one that I've been sitting for a while and it's issue number 15 to 75 without missing any. That's about 60, 61 comics right there. Uh, I wish I had issue number one to 75, but still I will take what I had. Now this one here I originally listed for $150, no interest. I dropped it down to 120, still no interest. 120 was about $2 per comic. I ended up dropping it to $100 and the buyer seen the ad and decided to purchase them. So I don't know if he's seen that I was reducing the price over time or he was just interested in them and just happened to stumble across my ad. But regardless, I have them sold and it was $100, which I thought was great. He also did purchase eight remaining Canadian Fan Expo comics that I've had for a while now. Originally I had them for about $5 each, not really any interest in those. I decided to list the eight remaining for $20 and the buyer decided to purchase those as well. So I purchased the Canadian Fan Expo comics and the New Warrior comics. That's a total of $120 from one buyer, a returning buyer. Next up is Hulk number one to four and the King Size Hulk number one. This is from 2008 and what's special about these is it's the first appearance of Red Hulk. Now this one here, Red Hulk issue number one, or sorry, Hulk issue number one, which has the first appearance of Red Hulk in it. That comic is valued at $100. Uh, King Size Hulk issue number one is valued at $12. And the other ones are valued at about $5 each. So originally I had it listed for the whole lot for $150 locally, no interest. Decided to list that on eBay, no interest at that price point. So I decided to drop the price over time and I did drop it to $125. I had somebody send me an offer of $120 and I accepted that offer. Now after eBay fees and shipping, I walked away with $110 profits, which to me I thought was a great deal for these comics. Yes, I could have waited and got actually what each comic was worth, but I decided to give them a deal and when they accepted it and I got paid for that, I decided to just go ahead and ship it. I obviously wasn't gonna cancel an eBay sale because that would look really bad. At the end of the day, $110 is still great sale. Next up is Avengers number 28. This is the first appearance of the collector and this is actually kind of funny. This sold on eBay. Um, but I originally had it listed on Facebook Marketplace for $20 since it's in such a rough condition. No interest whatsoever. So I decided to list it on eBay, starting bid $20. Now the buyer ended up uh, going into a bidding war with somebody else and it went all the way to $28, which is more than what I expected, plus shipping. The funny story for this is the buyer was 15 minutes from me. So if he would have seen the Facebook ad, the local listing that I made for it, he could have got it for $20, not paid shipping. Instead, he bought it on eBay, had a bidding war with somebody, so it went to $28 plus shipping. So that's kind of funny. So even after fees and that, I still walked away with $27, which I thought was a great deal for this comic. Yes, they paid more for it, but obviously they missed my local listing. 
Next up is 325 comic mystery boxes, one Marvel, one DC, and one Marvel, DC, and Image. This guy was buying them for his sons for Christmas. They're older, they do collect comics, but he was buying them for them. So what I ended up doing, I packed them up and put them in the box to ship because he was doing it for gifts. I decided to wrap them up each lot individually. So I had the 25 Marvel comics, the 25 DC comics, and the 25 mixed comics all wrapped individually in the box. So all he had to do was take them out of the box, wrap them up and put somebody's name on them instead of having to do any kind of sorting. So I did him an advantage there and I gave him 15 free comics. Now, how I sell my mystery boxes, if it's a Marvel and a Marvel or DC only mystery box. For 25, usually I charge $60 each, which is $120, but for a 50, uh, 50 comic box, I only charge $100. So whenever I gave him the price of uh, $150 plus $20 to ship, which equaled out to be $170, he uh, said that his calculation was $170 plus shipping, which is $190. So I looked at it, and what he ended up doing was putting the 25 box for Marvel times two, which is $60 each, which is 120. But I was pricing it out at the 50 box since he's buying two. I just add them together since it's a 50 comics and it charged $100 for that. So he was more than happy. He thought he was getting a great deal. But in reality, that is what I was charging for them. It's just he separated them out and I just add them all together. So still, this is a $150 sale, and he was more than happy with the comics for his sons for Christmas. Next up is 100 Image Comics for $80. These are ones from the first lot. I had a lot of success with Image. A lot of people wanted them. Then all of a sudden, I was sitting on these for a while, and nobody was interested in them whatsoever, not even at a dollar a piece. So I originally had them at a dollar a piece. Nobody was interested. I listed them for $80, and the buyer wanted them. He was more than happy for that. So that equaled out to be 80 cents per comic. I didn't have to ship them. It wasn't sold on eBay, so there was no eBay fees. So I still made 80 cents per comic, and I only paid 45 cents per comic to get them so I'm still doubling my money but not a lot of money uh, not what I expected to sell them for but still I doubled my money which was great next up is Superboy number nine which is the first appearance of King Shark and the DC 1988 uh, Peacemaker number one which was in rough condition this one here would have been a $20 comic itself but it was in rough condition so I decided to include it with issue number nine issue number nine is valued at about $75 that one there I had listed locally no interest I listed on eBay at $75 no interest so I decided to lower it to about $65 recently with the Peacemaker comic as well now I did have somebody that sent me an offer of $45, which I didn't want to accept. I countered it with $50 and they accepted it. But after eBay fees and shipping, I was still walked away with $45. Now I could have waited and hopefully found somebody that wanted it at what it's valued at, but decided just to sell it, make the sale happen and move on. So I still made a $45 sale. Next up was kind of a headache with eBay and I was kind of disappointed, but still the buyer was happy and that's what matters the most. And that was 250 comic mystery boxes. This one here was supposed to be Indie, Marvel, DC, and Image. Now my Indie ones, that's just to help get rid of stuff that I would have been stuck with. Usually I have no interest in the Indie comics and nobody really wants them, but this guy ended up being okay with it, but not at first because he sent me an offer I have a 50 box, I think it's listed for $80 on eBay. He sent me an offer for a quantity of two for 120, so that equals out to be $60 per box. So that's a $40 discount right there. Now what I've had in the past with my eBay listings, I do flat rate uh, shipping. I don't do calculated shipping for a reason and usually and I also don't do combined shipping so usually if they do quantity of two shipping is charged times two so the reason I accepted the $40 discount is because I knew it only cost me $35 to ship and they're supposed to pay $60 to ship uh, sorry 
the buyer is supposed to pay $60 for shipping. eBay messed up and they only charged him $30 for shipping even though he put quantity of two and he was buying quantity of two. So I ended up calling eBay. At first they were blaming me. They said, oh, you had it as calculated shipping and I've never used calculated shipping. So I was a little upset that they were trying to blame me as the seller saying I've used something which I know I've never used. Then they started to have another excuse so I ended up calling back, talking to somebody else, and he's realized that it was an error with their system. I don't have combined shipping. I don't have calculated shipping. It should have been $30 times two. So he told me to do one of two things, either message him and say that you, uh, that the buyer has to pay an additional $30 for me to go through with the sale, cancel or simply cancel the, the sale, which I didn't really want to do. So I messaged the buyer with those two offers, or those two options and a third option which was for me to put a ton of image and lower end Marvel and DC in the mystery box to make the sale happen. That's all actually he wanted. He wanted the cheapest of cheap comics. He didn't want anything high end. He didn't want anything that was more than a dollar and that was more than enough for me to go through with this sale. If he was okay with me putting, I think I put 60 indie comics in it. I put that in it. I put some image that was left over and I put the rest as Marvel and DC, but my lower end stuff, he wanted that. So that's why I went through with the sale. So even though it was $120 plus $30 shipping, which is $150 after eBay fees and shipping, I walked away with $100 for the sale for a hundred comic books. So that's still a dollar each and that's still me doubling my money. But it was such a headache dealing with eBay and having to message the buyer back and forth to see which option he wanted and eBay trying to blame me as the seller when I knew I was not in the wrong was such a headache, but I still made double uh, my profit, I made $100 for 100 comics, doubled my profit, um, or doubled my money, and still made the sale happen and the buyer was happy, and to me that's all that matters. I didn't want to cancel the sale, I didn't want to request more money from the, from the buyer. If he wanted those options, I would have accepted them, but I would have rathered him, uh, rather be able to make the sale happen, and if he didn't want to do any of those options, I would have still just tossed in a few in indie but i would have tossed in other things as well and would have took the loss but it is what it is and i still made the sale happen and i'm proud of myself for doing that so these are my most recent comic book sales again the sales for comic books have been flooding in a lot more and more uh mystery boxes selling a lot more higher end comics have been selling and i have a ton of comics left so there's going to be a lot more videos like this and this equals out to be $682, I believe, uh, for all these sales I just talked about in this video, just shy of $700, which is amazing. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoy all the content with my reselling business and all of my comic book content that I've been giving you guys. And I just love sharing this aspect of my life with you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy as well. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.